Welcome to Texan Math. Today we are looking at the STAR 5th grade mathematics assessment from 2013 and we're taking a closer look at item number 23. Let's read the item. Lakin drew the figure below. Which line segments intersect each other but do not appear to be perpendicular? Okay, this item I was missed by a lot of students. According to the item analysis, 53% of the students got this item correct, which means 47% missed the item. Uh, the most popular wrong answer was answer choice C. Okay, so we'll look at why that might have been true. Uh, we want to pay attention to some words here, and I am going to use highlighters. I've mentioned in a prior video about the highlighters because I've had people question me, is it okay to use highlighters on the STAR assessment? And the answer is yes. Students are allowed to use highlighters, as many colors as they want. Um, there's a question as to whether you are to give them to the student or if they must request. Uh, but generally speaking, if you make highlighters available to your students during the test, that's perfectly acceptable. There is no special accommodation needed for that. Any student is welcome to use highlighters. Okay, so let's see. It says which line segments intersect each other. So I'm going to use a color here. I'm going to use blue. These segments need to intersect each other. So let's take a look at each of the answer choices and we can pretty much throw out some answers because not all of these pairs intersect each other. We'll start with answer choice A. We're given segment UV and VW. Well, you will notice that UV and VW both contain the letter V in their name and UV and VW intersect at point V. So what I've done here is I've used the same color to show the intersection not only in the name of the two line segments but also in the diagram above. So it says those two line segments intersect each other, meaning I'm going to keep that answer for now. Let's take a look at answer B. It says line segment WX and TZ. Well, you will notice WX and TZ have no uh, points in common, no letters in common in the name, so no points in common. And if you look at the diagram, they have no points in common here either. So that means that answer choice B is incorrect because those two lines do not intersect each other. We want our lines to intersect each other. Okay, Num uh, letter C or answer choice C gives us these two line segments, line segment WX and XY. Well again, I noticed that the letter X appears in both names, WX and XY. This point is that point of intersection for those two line segments. So answer choice C, we're going to keep that one for now because they do intersect. And then finally, answer choice D, I've got segment UV and XY. Well, UV and XY appear to be parallel, actually. They do not have any points in common. They have no letters in common in their names. These are not intersecting line segments. So we've got two possible answers. So what do we choose? Well, clearly the one that was chosen most often by those who missed it were those who did not see the word not. It's a really good idea to have your students highlight the word not anytime it appears in a test question because what often happens is they quickly read through the question and they see perpendicular, but they don't pay attention to the word not. So when they're looking at their answer choices, they may think they need to choose the ones that are perpendicular when they are choosing the line segments that do not appear to be perpendicular. So not perpendicular. Now, if they don't know what perpendicular means, a good strategy when you teach perpendicular is to have them draw the perpendicular lines, uh, maybe highlight in their notes. They can use this to make note cards. So perpendicular lines look like this. So these lines here are the ones that are perpendicular. And since we want not perpendicular, then we are not going to choose answer choice C, WX and XY, which means the two that I want 
are UV and VW. They do intersect UV and VW. Let me get a third color here. I'll do orange. UV and VW. They do intersect and they do not appear to be perpendicular. So I'm going to choose answer choice. Okay.